Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So I decided to make this video because I really want to take a look at what Aunt Phyllis, aka Auntie Rasta, truly really thinks about her niece because she has been defending her niece in the comment section of a live stream that took place yesterday. You know, the live stream where Foodie Beauty uh, had her sweater or hooded, her hooded sweater like a hijab and she, you know, made sure it was tight to her face. Anyways, on Philly started off with, can't wait to see you again, cutie. I'll help you have positive days. We'll have fun, cook, meditate, and chill, XOXO. I guess she's referring to seeing her in Cornwall when Pete's and Foodie Beauty went down. Aunt Phyllis, of course, will be getting people, you know, adding her. And it seems this is the real Auntie Rasta, the real Aunt Phyllis, because it's been verified somehow. So Aunt Phyllis started to reply to multiple people saying things at Ian Moon. Sorry, but no, I will never ask her to smoke a spliff. Besides, I don't even smoke, lol. Many ways to have fun without consuming anything. And of course, more and more replies, such as Bezos Bufum saying at Aunt Phyllis Soro, but didn't she say she gave all she had to you before she left? Why would she do that then? Phyllis says she did give me the what she had, a wheelchair gummy, which I divided into 20 pieces, but that's my business. She had no idea she still had some. It was a surprise find. Why she consumed, I dot dot dot. Then she replied at Beezus Bufum again. She did give me what she had. This was surprise find. We all stash things and find them months later. Why she consumed it is her business, but I certainly don't judge her for that. Of course, Beezus Bufum replied. At Phyllis Sorrell, quite honestly, don't expect you to judge her. It's probably why she felt safe enough to, ha to come to you with it if she did. I just... Dot dot dot, is it really going to be, I don't judge her, until she burns to the ground. Family is family, but I don't know, don't let me tell you how to handle your relationship with her. Of course, Aunt Phyllis replies, at Beezus Bufum, I will never ever judge her or anyone for that matter. It's not my place. When Chantel does or says things I don't think is good for her well-being, I talk to her in private. And always with kindness, if she burns to the ground, quote unquote, as you said, that won't be because of anything judged. Besides, I'm very proud of my niece. She has made a lot of changes and it's still a work in progress. I will always encourage her and be here for her. What else can I do? Tell her how to run her life? Hell, heck no. Lol, lol, she's a free spirit. And does what she wants. I have no control over that. Mrs. Bufum. Uh, at Razamataz now. Oh I know. I'm just playing nice. Because she's at least nice enough to answer questions. For as much as they enable her though. The stories she tells about herself. Describe someone who will use anyone. Who even forgets to lock the door. Yikes. Mrs. Bufum keeps replying at Razamataz. Imagine the life she would have had going if Peace just didn't open the door. Okay, at Beezus Bufum at Razmataz. Oh yeah, and she's leaving Pete's again after openly shitting on him again. I don't see this or Phyllis Thoreau chimes in at Beezus Bufum. This is my last response. Chantal is an adult and responsible for her own actions. I have no idea what it is you expect or think I should do. I never judge anyone, so please stop trying to convince me I should judge her and tell her what to do. If I even try to tell her how to live her life, she'd still do what she wants. Her life is her business, her husband's, and their God, not up to me. Done. Okay, baby girl Stacy says at Phyllis Row Free Spirit. Lol. Then coconuts at Phyllis Soro. These trolls are too much. People can't have Chantel having a supportive auntie. They act as if family should turn their back on someone just because people on the internet don't like her. At coconut says at Razmataz, get a grip. Pete's is a grown ass man. Sure, she messed up his credit 10 plus years ago. 
when they were dating, but he also lived free for three to four years. Chantel paid rent, the bills, his food, his therapist, his clothing, etc. He had every opportunity to get his credit better, to find a job, to make money and save money, I guess is what this should say. Okay, Ad Felicero says, A coconuts, me see that dear, la la, I see that clearly and I'm done defending myself. I will never turn my back on her ever. I think the biggest issue is some don't like seeing her happy and improving her life. They thrive on her failing. And of course, we got some more replies like coconuts at Razumataz. That's what I thought. Didn't read my ass. Phyllis Saro says at GL, you're exactly right. You and everyone here has no idea what Chantel's family has tried to do to help her. You have no idea. What makes me shake my head is how some feel I and others should tell her what to do, say, eat, dot, dot, dot. Shall I lock her in a room and feed her only what I think she should eat? Don't answer that. It's rhetorical. My point is, there is nothing anyone can do to make Chantel eat only healthy. That is her choice, her life. Does it worry me? Of course. Do I care? Of course. Have I suggested to her many ways to change eating habits? Of course. She's almost 40 years old and needs to live her own life. I suggest you all leave her alone. And if you don't like how or what she eats, don't watch. GL at Phyllis Thoreau. So you do not believe inpatient treatment for a mental health issue would not be effective. I see it as a last ditch effort. I am not telling you what to do. Only stating how sad it is to see her like this. And yes, many of us cannot watch any longer. I only reply because you do seem to care, I guess, about her. At Phyllis Thoreau, I um, says to at GL, I seem to care about her. Seem. Of course I care. OMG. Chantel is my favorite family member. Chantel herself has uh, went live many times admitting she battles mental illness. Is taking meds and talks openly about it. She has even talked about therapy and how she needs it dot 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 just a few days ago so yes i believe she would benefit from therapy i also believe most people benefit from therapy but again chantelle is an independent person i cannot force her to do anything i hate when she's unhappy and truly believe she's on the right path give her a chance her new life can be easy a lot of changes and imagine how much she's missing her husband done and of course, people are continuing like Caitlin H at Phyllis Thoreau. So you love Chantel more than her sister Nally. At Phyllis Thoreau, uh, says towards Cherry Ripe. I'm wrong about what? Who said we didn't intervene? Who said we haven't tried? Who said any of what you're saying? You have no clue. Only Chantel knows all I've done and offered. I am available to her 24-7. And she knows that whatever anyone else thinks, that's their internal struggle. I know myself, dot, dot, dot. I know all I've done to help Chantel, and she knows too. Anyone else, I don't need to justify what I've done or haven't done. Please know the facts before you accuse me of being wrong. The past is the past, and she has changed her ways a lot. Give her credit for something good instead of being, of always bashing her mistakes. Beside, it is her life. And I guess that's the last reply from Aunt Phyllis. Other people like Cherry Ripe are adding on Phyllis saying wrong is referring to the above comment you made about people not wanting to see her happy and improving her life. By her own admission, she's uh, still undiagnosed and untreated, but it works for her because it gives her a hall pass to say and do what she wants. And anyone who dares say anything is yelled at for mental health or drug shaming. As for giving her credit, there are lots of us who will gladly do that if we see any positive change but so far all i see is on top of everything else she's now added making a marker of marriage and islam connie chimes in so the options are to disown her try to run her life or completely enable her i think there are a few missing there this is how people act around personality disorder people who fly into a rage whenever you make the slightest comment about their behavior Aunties, either the op the other pee in the pod, sufficiently conditioned into passivity or taking one for the team because the rest of the family 
won't bow and scrape to Queen Beezer. I don't care how much I loved someone, I would never give them a pass for treating someone the way Chantel is treating James. In fact, I wouldn't give them a pass because I love them. But how she's treating him is the way people like her caution everyone else they know to stay in line. Hilarious that auntie is against socially conditioning behavior meanwhile her niece is a wannabe master at it. And Tarrant, no less. Talk about the tail wagging the dog. Yikes. Well, that was a conversation to be had. I mean, a lot of people are chiming in on what is best and what is not best for Foodie Beauty. Uh, all I can say is Aunt Phyllis is there defending her niece in the comments section. And, you know, you know, saying her two cents, giving her peace of what is going on with the family and that they have tried to help her. And that she's going to be there for her niece no matter what. Anyways, I'm out. Um, my opinion on this is... Why? Where is her sister? Where is her mom? I guess her mom or sister don't want to be part of the online stuff. Only Aunt Auntie Rasta is able to dive in the comment section. Because she knows she's going to get a few replies. Good or bad. But hey, that's it. I'm out. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this because I'd really like to know. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, turn your notifications on because I do do live streams and I do do videos on the daily. So I'll see you then. Take care.